Hi guys, Remy here and today I'm going to be talking about McCartney 3. So today, which is the 21st of October 2020, Paul McCartney finally announced that McCartney 3 is happening and it is happening on December 11th. Now we have been getting hints as on Paul's Spotify on McCartney and McCartney 2, both albums have featured having a canvas kind of little video with dice rolling across and landing on a 3. Plus there were articles saying that Paul had been recording during lockdown, so yeah, pretty much we all kind of knew that we were getting a new McCartney album, however it's so exciting that it's a McCartney self-titled album, because the last one was in 1980, and I'm especially excited because this is the first McCartney album that's being released whilst I've been a fan, and also it's it's a McCartney album, so I'm just, I'm just very excited. Um, on Twitter there was like a lot of like intrigue and like, not panic, but just like what's going on kind of um, behaviour because um, special versions of the album were being like released and sold out of pre-orders before McCartney even like um, announced the album and so that was pretty funny just pe seeing people being like is this real what's happening oh my god um, but speaking of the album there is so many vinyl versions of this album already just because of all the exclusives that are coming out and it's so interesting. I've never seen an album be released with so many different versions. It's it's mad. So the first version you can get is the normal standard black vinyl. And um, I think that's available on Paul McCartney's website to pre-order as well as Amazon potentially. Um, the second version that was announced was the special Third Man Records 333 three yellow and black vinyl and what this was is that um there was only 333 copies available it's already sold out for pre-ordering it was yellow and black and basically um the vinyl was made out of 33 copies of recycled mccartney and Re and mccartney 2 albums so that's really pretty interesting and like that would have been really cool to you know get but however it sold out completely before I even knew about it and also I'm not a real fan of the yellow colour so you know it's a bit sad that I don't have the really cool version that's made from McCartney and McCartney 2 albums however I'm alright because I wasn't a fan of the colour. So that was the first special exclusive then the next special exclusive is the Third Man Records and also Paul McCartney website a uh, red exclusive that has 3,000 copies available. It comes with a poster, it's numbered, so is the yellow one. The yellow one also comes with a poster and is numbered, um, but it's red. And um, yeah, that one's really, really cool. It's like a red dice and red vinyl. Um, so basically, when I mentioned before that there is a red version of the album, turns out there's two different red versions. Um, there's one that was pressed by Third Man Records and there's one that is, I think I'm guessing, is pressed by Capitol Records um, and the differences being is that the Paul McCartney UK website is showing the um, Capitol Records version and the US Paul McCartney website is showing the Third Man Records version and I think the other differences being obviously that except for the fact that two different pressings um, the Third Man version is hand numbered and has a Third Man Records logo on the album cover whereas the um, other red version does not have the Third Man Records logo obviously and is unfortunately not hand numbered but yeah I hope I make sense because I'm just still trying to get wrap my head around it but yeah there's two red versions one was made by Third Man Records, who also made the yellow vinyl, and one was made by Paul McCartney. And then the next one that I saw was the HMV exclusive, which has the normal front cover, however, has a blue disc. Um, the next one I saw was a Blue Mouse indie exclusive one, which had a normal front cover, but had a white disc. The next one I saw was a Target one, which was green. The next one I saw was um, Newbury Comics, which had a normal front cover, but was had a pink disc. And then another one I saw was... 
the Spotify exclusive. So basically Spotify sent emails to a few select people which had a link to get the Spotify version, which is a Coke bottle vinyl, which is really, really cool. So it's also available on CD, but I don't know too much about exclusives for that. But yeah, isn't that cool? Like immediately there's different versions you can get of this album. That's just so cool. Um, I have ordered my own copy. I've pre-ordered it and I can't wait for that to arrive when it does. And if you're wondering, I ordered the red one. Um, I thought I, th I thought the black one was a bit too like standard. I didn't want the black one. The yellow one I couldn't get. Um, the white one looked really, really cool. And I was seriously considering the white one. However, I thought the red one's a bit more special. Plus it has its own special front cover with the dice being red. Um, and yeah, it's numbered and has a poster. So I thought, why not get the red one? So I went with red and yeah, that's just, that's it. I'm just so excited. Um, Twitter has been very funny and very entertaining today, just seeing all the madness going on, especially with each version being announced. Um, I saw Paul's little teaser trailer it made me tear up because I'm just so excited. And yeah, we're getting McCartney 3, guys. I hope this video has made sense. Um, in the description of this video, I'm going to write about all the different versions, where you can get them, what the differences are, anything I can find out, any extra information I'm going to put in the description below just in case you didn't really understand from my rambling. But yeah, I'm really excited. Please let me know if you're going to get an album, which version you're going to get or which version do you want. Um, and yeah, see you guys. Bye!